Ladies and gentlemen, today is May 23rd and I'm John Lo, the owner of a Dragon House. Right next to me, we're having a MMA veteran, um, Christian Espinoza. Been taking, what, the last five more than a year ago, right? Uh, almost a year, yeah. Almost a year yeah. ago. Now it's finally get back into the, the fight game. Um, Espinoza. So let, let's, let's talk a little bit about what are you going through lately? What, what have you been for the last, you know, couple years? All right, so uh, past couple of years, I was focusing on uh, my nursing career. So I finished school, graduated last year, got a job recently. Um, happy to be working at San Francisco General Hospital. And uh, now I also want to continue with my fighting career as well. So, so blessed yeah. to just be able to get another fight in again. That's pretty awesome. So you take a little time off, graduated, and then now you have to daily basis deal with a bunch of craziness in General <laughs> Hospital. That's one of the wild, wild west places. You know, I've been there once or twice. I'm like, God damn, I can't imagine people actually works there. <laughs> so you have a really awesome career as a nurse. You know, that's that's not really just like a job. That's like a really good career to have. So now I want to get back in the fight game. <clears throat> so upcoming fight, uh, you're fighting Ty Coster <clears throat> uh, from El Nino in San Francisco. What's your thought on this opponent? Um, I know he's going to be a tough opponent. He looks like he's a little bigger than me. I'm like, I'm fighting at 135 now, but I feel like I'm still a little small for 135. But I'm going to have to use my speed and quickness against him. Um, I know he's a wrestler. He might try to use his wrestling on me, but it looks like he's been training for a while. And to be successful in this sport, you can't just have, you can't be a one-dimensional fighter. So I know he's been working on his stand-up as well. And, you know, I'm always working on everything too. So it's going to be a good one. Do you think you ever, I know your whole entire pro career, as far as now, like it's all gonna be 125 pounds. Do you ever s see yourself going back to 125 or are you gonna stay at 135? I feel comfortable at 135. Um, my last fight, I felt like I had a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. uh, I was able to finish my opponent and I feel like a big part of that was making the jump up to 135 because I, I felt like I had more power, I, ha I had more, um, more stamina to mm. go to the fight if it went the distance. I always tell people sometimes cut more weight doesn't mean you're gonna get better performance out of your body, you know? Yeah, exactly. So what do you walk around weight? I walk around just around 145, so it's not gonna be a big cut for me at all. Small cut. Yeah. Small cut too. I, I know Ty Coster is, is a definitely big, and I think his last fight even fought at 145, right? He fought the uh, what the 40 or something. I don't know, he's, he's definitely a bigger guy. Mm -hmm. You know, definitely a bigger guy. and. Um, on the wrestling department, that's pretty much like his bread and butter from what I see. So on this upcoming training fight camp, what do you, how do you specifically prepare for this fighter? Um, it's not gonna be much different from any of my other fights. You know, I'm always training stand-up, uh, always training ground, and uh, my coaches are always great. They always have new techniques for me to show each fight. So stay tuned for the next technique. That's awesome. Now. July 21st, the Dragon House 29. Big stack card, 20 fights on the card, 12 pros, eight amateurs. Uh, we actually shoot for 22 fights, so it's gonna be a crazy night. Um, if any one of you guys wanna get tickets to come watching you fight, um, how can people contact you? So you can contact me on Facebook, just search Christian the Silent Assassin Espinosa, or on Instagram at Christy underscore Westside, or you can go to the gym at Combat Fitness in Vallejo, located on Sonoma Boulevard. Now, what's up with lately? I just saw you have a little clip. you in a TV series, a TV <laughs> show. You're like a, 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 a like a cop in the background arresting somebody. What's up with that? Are you gonna be an actor or uh, something? No, it's just a little uh, background thing while I was still looking for work. Uh, there was this, uh, they're looking for background actors for this 13 Reasons Why show on Netflix. So uh, I was lucky to be chosen as one of the uh, background police officers. So that was that a looks, pretty neat, neat experience. That's pretty cool. They'll actually like put a handcuff on the, one of the actors. Yeah, one of the actors. That was cool. All right, MMA fighters coming into the movie scene, you know. Do it all. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Do you have to get like a, a agent or something to, to uh, represent? No, uh, no, not not right now. <laughs> well, we should. Maybe after one more fight, maybe you should get a little uh, entertaining agent. In that. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You know, not a whole lot of Asian fighters and... Um, in the world, you know, most likely it's like a lot of other races, you know, Asian fighters definitely like consider a minority, you know, so 
um, you know, having that as your background definitely stand out more, you know, in any in any scene where you go, you know, like full time nurse and then maybe an actor and then full time MMA fighter. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So now you got a career nailed it down pretty good. Years and years of school. Yeah. What do you see yourself in the MMA world? Like, what are you trying to achieve? You want to be make this as a career, or just do one fight every once so often as a hobby? What do you see yourself? You know, I'm taking it one fight at a time. I mean, I'm pretty much established with my uh, professional career in nursing, but you know, I keep coming back to MMA. You know, this is my passion. I love this sport. I mean, right now, of course, it doesn't pay a lot of money, but this is just what I love to do. So. I can't, I can't stay away from this. Yeah, there's something you can't really get away with it, that, that the yeah. edge you in the cage. Now, any sponsor, uh, special people you want to shout out to on your fight cam, on your coach, anybody want a special shout yeah, out to? Yeah, shout out to uh, my sponsors, Encore 32 Dental and American Canyon, shout out to 3C Construction, <laughs> to Summit Healthcare, and uh, Peace Clothing Design, and just shout out to my whole team, all my coaches, my training partners, all my family and friends who always come out to support, um, it really means a lot to me, you know. It's part of the reason why I keep doing this too. Um, I just feel all the love from everybody. It's great. That's awesome. Now, um, all the MMA fight fans out there, don't miss it out. This is a big stack card. For more information about this upcoming fight card, please check out DragonHouseMMA.com. This event is a live stream pay-per-view nationwide, so anyone can make it to the event on the at the venue. You can check the whole fight, the whole fight out online, and. Um, Get on DragonHouseMMA.com and get your um, pay-per-view voucher over there. Now, if your opponent, Ty Costa, watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? Um, let's just bring it. We'll both be ready. Put on a show. Do you think this fight will go to distant? Um, it's hard to say. I don't want to make a prediction. I just know it'll, my fights, uh, I just bring it, make it as exciting as I can. Yes, absolutely. If you want to look for some excitement, Check out Christian Espinoza. Uh, one more time, your IG address? IG, uh, Chris E underscore Westside. Westside, yeah. whatever it is. <laughs> 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 All right, come check it out, guys. Uh, July 21st, it won't be disappointed. This giant stack card, uh, $50 ticket on general start off, and uh, well worth it. We got alcohol, good food, cheeseburger, hot dogs, all the good stuff, and uh, come check it out. Good to have you on board. All right, thank you so much for having me again. Right. Appreciate it. Peace.